Good afternoon, dear colleagues, dear partners. Very little time has passed since our last talk. Well, that would seem so. Just a week from the moment we filmed our last video, but it's been a week already. So, hello once again. And we are again on the construction site of Sovalmash. What has changed here in the last week? I think that the guys will show you all the changes in more detail from a drone. And now you see the administrative building behind me. As for the administrative building, the metal construction of the whole building has been finished. The administrative building is finished. The mounting of the metal construction of the building of all the metal construction is finished. Some work is left concerning mounting of the basement for barriers. You see that on the right from me some metal constructions are not finished yet, but it is in relation to the technology of work. They are just small details. Mounting of the flight of stairs, of the fire exit, is not finished either, because it will be performed after the mounting of the fencing construction. And we see that work of cycle zero is carried out in the administrative building, canalization. On the left from me you see gas and silicate blocks. This is anti-fire pointing. This is a wall which will separate the administrative building and the production building. In the last week, the site has been prepared to receive sandwich panels of the fencing construction. The guys will show you that. The first truckfuls of that have been delivered. This is just a small part. The fencing constructions will occupy the space of 700 square meters, the warehouse. Is that much? Is that little? That is quite a lot. I must say. You see that the building is not as transparent and as light as it used to be. You see that it looks quite solid. It is dark within. It is darker because the foam work of all the bridging has been removed. All the bridging between floors and the ramps in this side, for example. All of that is in place already. And now we have started the new stage of work. This is preparation to pouring of interfloor bridging. The guys will show you from the drone how work is done on the bridging of the third floor. A brigade is working there now. They are performing hydro insulation work. They are also preparing the reception site for metal constructions. This is the grade of the framework. They will put it upwards and then they will spread it according to technological maps and they will prepare them for putting them there. And they will put them in place. They will do reinforcement. They will put foam work, which will serve as separation where it is needed. And I hope that next week we will be witnessing pouring of the third floor. The first lines of the technological map will be poured. I congratulate you on that. This is the new stage of construction. After the pouring of all the interfloor bridging constructions, we don't take into account the ground floor, of course. And then we will be able to start work concerning anti-fire protection on metal constructions. This work is to be carried out when the weather is dry, because it does not tolerate wet weather, rain, and then we will be able to start mounting fencing constructions. And then the guys will show you that work on roofing has also made a lot of progress. Roof constructions are mounted there where the first bridging is to be made, and then it will continue. There are some delays concerning the roofing, and you will see for yourself that 
work to pull lift shafts is now being finished. Lift shafts and flights of stairs. And the cranes are working there for the moment. And everything is open there for the moment. As soon as that work is done, we will be able to proceed with the work on roofing. And the first stage of work on roofing has been finished already. Lift shafts and flights of stairs, the ones which are behind, as for them, now there is work concerning mounting of foam work for pouring, steps of flights of stairs and stairway landings. So a lot of progress has been made in the last week. But it's difficult to show all of that for one simple reason. For example, when we were putting the first, the second backup constructions, that was quite spectacular and you could see the dynamics for yourself. However, now this dynamics is not that visible. The picture is not as good. But just believe me, the volume of work that has been performed, it is not smaller and in a way it is even bigger. And now construction costs 3 to 7 million rubles per day, taking into account that some advance payments were made earlier. But if we just take everything into account, it is from 3 to 7 million rubles per day. You can imagine the volume. So I wasn't joking when I was saying that the mounting and all the work is actually paid right from the will. As we say, everything that we receive goes to pay the work that we carry out. Everything is linked. And the tempo of payment for work defines the tempo of what is going on on the site. And so recently, and last week, for example, we were receiving offers to raise funds to attract investment. In particular, there was an offer to use SPAC. Beautiful word, SPAC. What is a SPAC? SPAC is a new area. Well, it is not as new, because it has been known for quite a long time. It has been used. It is used abroad. It is used in the United States. And what is it used for? SPAC, or Special Purpose Acquisition Company, is a company which, in fact, is a non-entity. You know, they were telling us about offshores, but an offshore works two-way. We can get money there and we can get money out of there. And people who have a low level of social responsibility, they take the money out of Russia. As for us, we use offshores to invest here, inside Russia. So, a SPAC is a company, a non-entity, a limited liability company, which is created by people. Shares are issued by those people, and these shares are placed on a stock exchange. Here we need to pay attention to the fact that shares are only accessible to qualified investors. And we have already talked about what is a qualified investor and what is a non-qualified investor. All those who have more than 500,000 rubles of investment, they are qualified as qualified investors. A qualified investor is either a bank or another legal entity. You can do like that only via offshores. And this is the same thing there. Only qualified investors, those who make investment projects, those who raise funds and so on. The money is accumulated on special accounts and the initiators of projects cannot spend that money. The money gets accumulated there and only some indicators are reached, some particular sums. Then this money can be spent for the purposes of SPAC and two years are given for everything. If within two years that money is not accumulated, then this money is to return to the investor. And the most interesting thing here is that if you or me or someone else wants to initiate a SPAC, then believe me, it will be something, because just nothing will come out of it. It would be really funny 
if one of us initiated this spec. Why? Because no one knows of us. Usually initiators of specs are people who are well known. They are people who possess big capitals. None of us could become an initiator of a spec. This is the first thing. The second important thing is that to set up such a thing you need from 5 to 40 million dollars just to set it up. Imagine what we have behind is 20 million dollars, the project and everything. That means that we would have spent more money on setting up the company than what we are to actually raise for the project. Now, when the money is collected, they choose a startup and they suggest joining the two companies, making a fusion, and then one of the companies disappears and the other one remains. A very interesting thing. Why? Because the main beneficiaries of this would be those who invested. And all the others are just left in uncertainty. Investors who took all the risks on them during the development of the project are left with nothing. Are we ready to do that? Fair chance, don't even dream about that. And then a question rises. Those who offer a spec, what do they think? Why are they offering it? Why are they proposing it? Do they think we are not competent? That we are not able to figure it out? This is the first thought which I have. Or another option. They just say it and then they don't understand themselves fully what it is and what game they suggest that we play with them. This is a one-way ticket. And not moving towards the interest of investors, of partners who initiated the project, but this is rather going towards those who never took any risks and those who have arrived when everything is ready for them. And the third thing here, what do I have behind me? Is it a startup or is it something bigger than that? And why, when we have got through the most risky times with the biggest amount of risks and now we have minimized the risks. What we have behind us is real material assets. There are developments, there is the laboratory, there is the team and there are a lot of people who want to work in our team, who want to work here. And when all of that is there already, we will just go to extremes or what? I don't think that this is the smartest thing one could do. I hope that we have figured out what a SPAC is. Next thing, IPO. I think that when they suggest IPO, people don't really understand what they suggest. As for a SPAC, we say that you can just set up a company, a non-entity and just issue shares. Well, in Russia it doesn't happen this way. Here I have already said that legislation concerning shares is created to waste the Soviet heritage. Look, we now have a limited liability company Sovelmesh. Sovelmesh capital is around 45,000. There is equipment and all the rest, fixed assets, well, all right, a hundred million. I won't do precise calculations, it's very approximate. And then we start issuing shares. What do we issue shares for? We issue shares for the fixed assets of the company. And founders get 45,000. 25,000 go to Solar Group and all the others get 5,000 each. And we will distribute this 45,000 among all the investors, all those who have a share. Very funny, very funny. 
As for the 100 million, then we will issue shares of primary listing, and that is IPO. Is it not funny? Do you have any other proposals? I do have one. What is my proposal? All of that, all of that, that all the investment was used for. It is not yet a finished facility. It is an expenditure item for us. When will we be able to reflect it on our company's books? When we pass all the state commission procedures? And then this material asset will cost several billion. Several billion. One, two billion, I don't know. I can't predict anything, maybe prices will change. Yesterday or the day before yesterday there was a meeting with business, the government, the president. They urge us to be humane because prices go up. 70% of all construction has stopped. Not possible to carry it out, not possible to live up to one's responsibilities. It is not possible to stay within the framework defined by different projects. And we will continue work on ours. We will reach the results we have planned to reach. So, we will have an opportunity to reflect the building on our company's books, the building, the equipment, the developments which have been carried out, 54 motors, and so on and so forth. Material and non-material assets. They will cost a lot. What shall we do with that afterwards? Then we will need to transform a limited liability company into a stock company. There will be the same legal entities and the same individuals, the same which we had in Soval Mesh. And in this case, 49% of all of that will belong to Solar Group. And that will be real money. There is one or two billion. And then, then Solar Group will be able to distribute the shares to everyone. Taking into account the share of participation, the discounts and so on. And here we do not have the IPO that everyone is telling us about, without actually understanding how the real evaluation is carried out. And even the shares, everyone will be able to place them on the stock exchange there where they will want to do that. But this is not IPO. I never spoke about that before. Because, you know, explaining and speaking about all of that, that was too early. But now time has come where we need to understand more or less clearly where we are going and how we are doing that. Everything comes stage by stage. We now receive a lot of offers. They sound like fantastic offers, fantasy offers, to raise funds, to attract investment. Let's not indulge in illusions. Let's not indulge in fantasies. I think that everyone has now seen for themselves that the way we chose was the right one. It was quite effective. And you know, many projects have failed. And we are moving on. Sometimes they say that we need to ask for help, some civil servant, you know, someone from the government. But we just count on friendship, you know, we count on our investors on our partners. Together we are really strong. And believe me, a smart politician will never risk to touch upon this, to touch upon this construction, because he or she won't just touch on solo group team, but it will also include hundreds, thousands of people and their families. This is a huge number of people. They just won't be able to clear themselves of it after that. You know, like, don't touch it and it won't smell. God knows we understand that. So let's only count on ourselves. Let's believe in ourselves. We can do that and we will do that. And you can see already that we are doing that. Remember those times when people were saying, you won't get the permit, you won't become residents. 
you won't go through all the expertise procedures, you won't get the construction permit, you won't have the project, you won't build. And then we just overcame everything. Of course, sometimes there are problems, but we just solve them. But, you know, just shouting about different problems, it's not really worth it. We just solve them as they come. And then we will just remember those problems. We will just be drinking some tea and we will have those memories about the difficulties we have gone through. And the guys will show you everything now.